below what y'all think about this new update that they gave us with the 10 new skin colors and the new shirt and new hair. I love the new hair, by the way. But um, let me know what y'all think about it because I saw a lot of drama going down on Twitter about it. And like, it, it was just a hot mess. Hey everybody, like, it's your girl Tony Time and I'm back with some more Sims for you. And this is literally my sixth attempt at recording this video. Let's hope this one actually sticks. Okay, um, but before we get into it, thumbs up this video for my new intro and outro, which you'll see later. And also check out the new channel, um, the new channel video if you haven't already checked it out. If you're a returning subscriber, then you probably have to search through my latest videos. If you're a new subscriber, it should be the first thing that you saw when you came to my channel. But yeah, check it out and then do everything it says, you know, like, comment, subscribe, share, go to my Twitter, add me, <laughs> subscribe, <laughs> but yeah. Um, turn on notifications and everything that all them YouTubers say, yeah, do all that stuff. <laughs> but yeah, so this is who Don and Akio's new house. And I was gonna put the Kaz and that build and buy into one video, but I think I'm gonna split it up into two just because each one is probably gonna be about 20 minutes. Um, so yeah, this is the outside of their new house. Let me zoom in a tiny bit. This is the outside of their new house, which is literally their old house. Um, I just upgraded it a little bit with the new laundry day stuff pack and things like that. And also, I need to play the game. I haven't even played the game since laundry day stuff came out. So I can't even tell y'all my final review on if I like the pack or not until I play. Which will probably be within one of my next few videos. And then also, um, Chance and Candy will be getting married soon. So yeah. Possibly for Valentine's Day. Maybe I'll make that a special. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, so this is their house. It's still the same two levels. Um, it's just that it looks a little different. So I guess I'll show y'all the first level first. Okay, so you go through the front door, obviously. And then this is what their new living room looks like. I love what I did with their living room. And I still can't tell if this wall is pink or purple. But yeah, I really like it. And I also love the flooring. I changed the flooring to like marble flooring. And I also have to put some fish in here. I like need to actually go into gameplay and do a few things. Um, since I changed some stuff. But yeah, I really, really like it. What do y'all think? I love this little living room. It is so cute. It's so modern. If you're shuffling in the background, that's boyfriend. Um, yeah, it's so, so cute. What do y'all think? Oh, is this? I thought it was clipping through. It looked weird. Um, Sorry, y'all. I got interrupted. But um, yeah, this is their cute little living room, like I was saying. I love this little uh, nook area that they have over here, like chilling on the couches and stuff. And I also did make their house a little bit more modern, how their old house used to look. So it's kind of interesting. Um, I also put this bookshelf and stuff in the background. So there is a little reading area over here with the ottoman. Um, and then here's like, what was I saying? I forgot again. So this is the little nook area where they can read on the ottoman and stuff. They can play with the cats and dogs over here. And the cats and dogs beds are over here as well. Um... I also moved the little, what do you call it, the curfew thing, the chore wheel I'll call it, is over here now. And this is their little uh, living room, hang out and watch TV area with their little fireplace nook thing over here. I also love the marble that I threw in this house, it's really, really cute, it makes it look so classy. And then what do I want to show y'all next? Do I want to go to the dining room or do we want to go over here? I guess I'll go to the dining room, okay. So you go to the dining room over here and um, this is pretty much what the dining room looks like it's just straight uh what do you call this it's straight mirrors on the background it's straight mirrors in the background and then they, i made the dining table on a diagonal it looks so so cute i like it anyway um put a few plants and stuff back here some candles i really like how the dining room came out what do y'all think and then in here we have the kitchen we moved a little bar over here we also put the water fountain if y'all saw this house i think originally it originally had a water fountain or am I making it up? I don't remember. But I put a water fountain in here, basically. Um, or waterfall, rather. I put a waterfall in here, and then they have their bar and some pictures and cute stuff like that. A little kitchen. Nothing crazy happened in the kitchen. I got rid of some of the things that were on the um, on this background stuff, so they have a little bit more room to make some food and things like that. And then out here, or over here, rather, we have the bathroom. And instead of making a second bathroom, I just made a wall and put it inside of this bathroom so that way the shower and the actual bathroom are, uh, or the actual toilet are separated so that way you can have two sims in the room at once and they won't get embarrassed. So that's a fun thing that happened. I also love this little wall because I moved the two, or the, the wall that used to be here, the entire four wall mirrors, I just moved them into the bathroom. I thought it was so cute. And then I also threw two little pictures in there as well. And then outside, we got rid of the doggy door. 
outside we have this extension that we had before um, where this was just completely windows like the see-through windows that were kind of going into the backyard I took those out and I put in the two bay windows because I really wanted to use them so bad and so I put those in here and we have the little hookah over here now only two people can use it at a time but that's fine and we made this little area over here so now they can game and stuff outside and then there's also two exits so over here you have the exit to the basketball court which is where our um, youngest son Phoenix is often seen he's basketball kid so he's usually over here Dawn sometimes comes out here to play or not play to re relax in the hot tub because she's always stressed after school because I make them study hard in school because I'm trying to get their grades up so she's always coming over here right before I make her do her um, homework as well as Donna's always working out now on the yoga mat and I keep trying to force her not to now because I'm like you're getting a little too muscular for me I can't so yeah that's a thing and we also have this little plant over here. I just thought the plant was cool being outside next to, like, natural stuff. So, I don't know. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Um, and then we moved the grill. We also have the little fire pit over here. And I threw this little thing over here to make it look like, you know, they take the wood out of there and put it inside the fire pit. And so, yeah, that's a thing. Um, and our young, our oldest son, um, our middle child as well, um, wisdom he's usually on the couch just doing his homework and stuff in the living room which is so cute because like he comes home and he does his homework then I try to make a sister do her homework and she doesn't want to do it and she's like I'm stressed and I'm like I don't care um and then we have the little clothesline outside I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep the clothesline out here I might just delete it but I wanted to keep it in here in case um or not in case for when I did the laundry pack overview and if I like the actual gameplay so yeah we'll see how that comes out and then upstairs, da 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 upstairs, we have um, a few changes as well. Oh, also down here, I'm not even sure if I said, yeah, I changed the wallpaper and the flooring all down here if you couldn't tell. Um, these are both from the vampire pack, this uh, wall and flooring in the bathroom, which I really thought was interesting. Um, but back upstairs, so upstairs we have, what is this now? This is their new um, upstairs, I guess, living room area. I don't even know what to call it, but this is basically what that is. And this is clipping through the wall. I just noticed that. Let me fix that real quick. Because it's going to bug me that it's clipping. There we go. Okay. Um, but yeah, so this is their new um, upstairs area. I just moved a few plants up here. Changed up the chest table and stuff. Changed the wall and flooring to match the one downstairs. We also moved the succubus up here. Or succulents, succubus, succulents up here. Um, and also just changed up like the table and stuff. And then we shrunk down the um, living room area up here to add in a little uh, laundry room. So this is what our laundry room looks like. It's orange and kind of the same stuff that was in the downstairs basement. So I think that's really cute. Um, so we will be using that. Uh, over here is still our like spare activity room. And we did add a large screen down here because we have the little one downstairs and then we have like the big screen up here. Um, karaoke, our daughter, Dawn, she's getting really into singing because I told you I want her to be the artistic one. So she will be drawing and painting, singing, dancing, all that good stuff. So she's up here singing. Um, the foosball table is more for our little son who's really into sports. And then we just have like some games and stuff on the wall for our middle child who is really into gaming. So we put up a gaming station up here um with the tv and we also put a little bar up here um i'm not sure if the parents know that their kids have a bar upstairs or what it is but yeah so that's up there um <laughs> we'll see what kind of trouble the teenagers get into with that because i'm so ready to mess up their lives i love it when the teenagers age up i can do so much hectic things to their lives um and then this is dawn's room and Dawn's room is really girly still but we did add in a little touch of green here and there just because i felt like it was too too girly before and it was like really bright I don't know what it was with the color but like the lighting and the colors were not working together well so I had to change the wall to something a little more uh <laughs> I don't even know if you would say this is dark because it's more peppermint but yeah so we did that and then she has her little drawing easel and stuff and her makeup area over here music area over here obviously and just really really cute girly overall stuff um next door over here is uh, Wisdom's room and Wisdom's room is black and white and I just threw a splash of yellow in there because I was like I need some color in his room I can't just have it all black and white so we have a few yellow items that we just threw around but I love his room I really, really do I don't know if it's because of the wall or what but like I'm in love with his room 
I think it might just be because of the too many eye pickups. The monochromaticness of it, like the black and white, but then the splash of yellow, and also these rugs from Laundry Day Pack. They are bomb. Love them so much. Um, over here we have the parents, Donna and Akio's room. And this is what their room looks like. So this is the front, obviously. And then they have some pictures on the walls, things like that. Um, I gave them a walk-in closet as well. Donna has her little vanity that she doesn't really use, but maybe I'll let like um, Dawn come in here sometimes. I would have gave Dawn a vanity, but I didn't. One, I didn't feel like she would use it that much. And two, there's no room in her room, so maybe I'll just have her come in her mom's room, like playing her mom's makeup. I don't know. But yeah, we put some Chinese scrolls on the wall and stuff like that. Um, I put a little like sculpture area over here with the vases and, or vases, whatever, and things like that. I thought it was so cool. Um, and then they have a double workstation over here where they can both do their work. Donna can do her you know, her veterinary stuff and then her husband, Akio, can do his doctor stuff. So I thought that was cute. And then last but not least, we have the baby's room and the baby is um, Phoenix. Phoenix is now a child from a toddler and both Dawn and Wisdom are teenagers now. I aged them all up, which I still have to put that video up, by the way. Um, but he's really into sports, like I've been saying, so everything in his room is sports-like. And I also sized this up and I love how it looks sized up in his room. Because each of these um, shelves, they kind of made me think of a sport. So I'm like, he's probably in different sports. And he puts each of his sports attire in different um, drawers to keep them organized. So I thought that was kind of cool. Uh, and then let's see, what else do we have in here? Nothing really crazy in his room. I like the theme of the brown a lot in his room. The brown, the blue, and the red. It's like an interesting, com uh, interesting color combination. But it really, really works well with him. And so yeah, that's really what we have in here. Let me think, is there anything else? Um, not really. Oh, I do know. I'm not sure if y'all saw this over here for Wisdom's room, but he's collecting a bunch of frogs like I've been saying, and he will be going, um, over to Donna's job to help her. Like, I don't know if he's going to be like a secretary or something, but like to get into more animals and stuff, he's going to be going there and he will be collecting more frogs. And also he's been searching around for fossils and like creating a bunch of stuff, um, at school and things like that. Cause he's really a big nerd. I love him. So, yeah, that's basically all I think that they have going on in their house. And I really, really like what I did with, like I said, the outer, outside um, area. I like the, what do you call that, landscaping and stuff. It looks so good to me. Um, but, yeah, real quick, I'm going to go over to Donna's new veterinary clinic, which I actually just downloaded off the gallery because I did not have patience to go through and try to rebuild one or reorganize it. I was like, I'm not doing all that. I'm so sorry. So I just downloaded it off the gallery, and I will tell you all who I downloaded it from in a second. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you I have a lot traits for Donna and Akio's house. Donna and Akio's house, the new lot traits, I believe, are teen neighborhood, fast internet, and there's one more that I think it might be good schools. I don't know. I'll go check um, when I go to tell y'all who made the veterinary clinic because I truly, like I said, was not going to make it over. Um, I did make like one or two little small changes to it, but nothing dramatic. Like I might have added a, a computer or something. So it's basically going to look the same when you get it. Oh, and I also redid my um, sim because we got the new skin. So, yeah, uh, that's the thing I've been working on. Let me delete this because that's the old one. Um, it's teen neighborhood, good schools, and fast internet. Yep, I was right. Okay, and then over here, vet clinic. This is the vet clinic, and I originally downloaded it from Kimberly Shortcake that you can see right here. K-I-M-B-E-R-I-S-H. R T C A K E Kimberly Shortcake and that is her origin handle. I'm assuming it's a girl, I don't really know. But um I love this place and I'm gonna go show y'all what it looks like right now. Alright, and now we're at the vet clinic and before I forget, let me see. Okay, it doesn't have any lot traits, so at least I mean I guess that's good. Um I low key wanna give it lot traits now. Wait, let's see. Okay, we can make it let's give it a breeding round and hmm breeding round Maybe fast internet and oh breeding ground, training ground, and one more, one more, one more. Maybe gnomes or penny pixies. I don't know. What, what should we do, y'all? Either gnomes or fast internet. I don't know. Let's do gnomes. Cause you know sometimes they'll uh, they'll fix your stuff up. Okay, so the lot traits for this place are breeding ground, training ground, and gnomes, which I literally just gave it. Um, and then let's see what else. Okay, so this is what the outside of the place looks like. Really, really cute place. I love it. 
Um, I really, really like how the person did, like, the outside specifically because it's very... Okay, um, I really, really like how the person did the outside, like I was saying, uh, the landscaping and stuff. It's very minimalistic, but it gets, like, everything done. It gets the job done, basically. And so this is what it looks like from the outside. This is what the inside looks like. There's nothing upstairs, so we're not even going to pay attention to that. Um, but this is what each of the rooms looks like. This is the entrance, obviously, if I can zoom in a bit. There's the entrance. And the way that the person built this, it's like it's divided so all the cats go on this side and all the dogs go on this side. And so you check in. There's like a waiting area, a little food area. I also added in these little... I added in uh, the computer and the chair here and then just automatic feeders because I wasn't going to be having everybody pay for their pets to go get, like, get food. Um, so this is what each of these rooms look like, the examination rooms. There's an x-ray room. Nothing really, really crazy. I like it though. It's really cute to me. Um, I also love what they did here with these little um, train, not training, what do you call these? Kennels. Kennels. Um, they make them look like kennels and it's so cool to me. Let's see what else. Uh, we have a bathroom here. Is this a bathroom? Is this a bathroom? What is this? I don't even know. I think this is just a, oh, it's, yeah, it is a bathroom. Toilet and then um, washing your hands. So that's really cute to me. And then you can have like some, um, what do you call those? Some coffee and things like that. Uh, another x-ray room for the cats. And then the cats, um, the cats examination rooms. And then just the cat hangout area, which I love the little cat hangout area. It's so cute. Um, and then the middle of this, you also have another training ground. So if you want, I guess, a little bit more private, not even privacy because everybody can see this. But I guess if you want to show off your pet's uh, skills, you can go outside or inside in the courtyard. And then outside, you can get a little bit more privacy with the actual training ground. And I just threw some balls back here because I was like, you know what? Dogs like to chase balls. So that's what we did. And last but not least, I'm going to go show y'all um, Candy and Chance's house. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all. So right now we are outside of um, Candy and Chance's house. And this is what their house looks like um, from the outside view. It's literally still the same house that they've always had. I literally just added landscaping. Um, my roommate's being obnoxious <laughs> and opening stuff in the background. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, so their house is really just the same as it's always been, I think. Um, all we really did was, I might change the outside out. Nah, no, we're gonna keep the outside. I still like the outside. But this is what it looks like. I really, really like it. And their landscaping in their house is really nice. They also still have the same two levels. Same build, same layout and stuff. Um, I was trying to change out the kitchen by, like, making an island outside of one of the walls, but it didn't look right, so I ended up not doing it. Um, but yeah, so literally, this is what we have. Um, I was thinking about possibly changing these chairs. I don't know if I want to. Like, if I change these, hmm, let me see. All right, y'all, so this is, um, what was I saying? The inside of their living room and stuff. I think I might need to change the color of these lights. Mm, we can keep them blue. They actually look kind of nice. Um, but this is what their living room looks like. Anyway, um, this is what their living room looks like and stuff. It's really, really cute. I love the new laundry day stuff pack that I used. Also, if you were slamming in the background, that was my roommate. Um, I love the laundry day stuff pack that I used, and I also love how we added so many more plants into this house because, like I always tell y'all, Candy's really into her natural stuff, so that's like one of her plus like things that she loves to do. Um, literally, the computer room still looks the same. Um, added in some little, what do you call these, succulents and things like that. Um, Kitchens still looks the same, just changed up the color, made it blue. There's a lot more blue in this house now. Also added like the fresh herbs and stuff in the background. Um, the bathroom, we made it yellow, so that's an interesting change. And then her bedroom, you know, Chance is making more money now, so Candy's like, I want to redo our house. And so he said, okay, whatever. Um, so she just got to redo their bedroom a tiny, tiny bit. Outside in the backyard, once like I always say, Candy's really in her, her natural stuff, so she's washing all her dirty clothes by hand. Um, they have a little grill out here now with a little, um, what do you call this, with the table where they can eat around. And the little thing for them to hang up their laundry on. More plants in the corner. Something for when their toddlers age up into kids. They can go onto the monkey bars and stuff like that. It's also cute. Uh, pool more stuff outside more cacti and things like that really really love them 
And I also love this plant up here. Plants so, so cute. Uh, garbage can in the background or in the backyard. And then some stuff to, you know, keep their yard looking nice. Then upstairs we have this new, not even new, what would you call it? Not new, but like their little hangout area. So more, a different, a change of um, couches, stuff like that. Not really anything crazy on top of their stuff. Maybe, hmm, maybe we'll get rid of this and we'll add in, like when you just start looking at stuff and you start changing things up. <laughs> um make that small put that there there we go that looks a little bit better i think so that's what we're probably gonna do i was thinking about changing the kids doors back to something else but i kind of like how their doors look so we're gonna leave them um bathroom is really the same just changed it to purple uh spa slash gym they're the same just changed it to black and white and red so yeah that's what we did there and then the little kids' room, I put both the daughters, like I told y'all, into one room. I did change their room. Their room used to be more gender-neutral colors, but I did change them to, like, uh, cerulean blue and purple. So that's really cute. And also a little bit of pink. Love their room. Like, I feel like I don't even have to describe what's going on. Like, I just love their room. It makes me hungry. It makes me think of cotton candy or something. Also, can we just talk about how this wallpaper has, like, lines in it? I thought that was so interesting. Thank you to the Detail Sims. Oh, my God. Cool. Um, and then also the little boys room I changed into yellow and blue I didn't realize until after I looked through all the houses But I'm like I used a lot of yellow this time and I'm not the biggest fan of yellow So I'm like that's interesting Um, and yeah just a little toddler bed and stuff like that nothing crazy That's really all I had for y'all Um, like I said like this video just for my new intro outro and this little update that I'm giving y'all and for the for me actually trying because this is literally like I said the sixth time that I'm trying to record this so hopefully this one sticks and then the next video y'all will see will be the Kaz updates of all the characters I did somebody had a baby I'm not sure if you saw it earlier um you might have seen it when I pulled up the thing because I didn't uh like when I pulled up my origin and my saves so you might have seen that but I don't know somebody had a baby guess what it was um but yeah that's that like i think that's all i really have like i said i'm probably gonna work on their wedding for a little valentine's day special type thing and yeah like this video subscribe turn on notifications follow me on twitter origin um the sims gallery all that good stuff and you already know my model sim school super p it's your girl tony time and i'll see you all in the next one bye guys oh wait before i leave i just remembered um let me know below what y'all think about this new update that they gave us with the 10 new skin colors and the new shirt and new hair. I love the new hair, by the way. But um, let me know what y'all think about it because I saw a lot of drama going down on Twitter about it. And, like, it, it was just a hot mess. Like, I might bring that up when I go into my cast video, but I just remember that. So, yeah, leave that down below what you think about that. See y'all later. Bye. <laughs>